Hello YouTube. My battery operated eraser that I use for drawing has broken. And this is all I have left of it. Just this chunk of eraser material and the crimp band that holds it in. Well, all would appear lost if it wasn't that I found me a replacement. The Ohuhu battery operated eraser. And so this is what we're going to talk about in this video. get right into it it's just a regular old plastic um, box nothing special no special writings or anything on it just says made in China here that's about it, it has a SKU 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 number and I just opened it all upside down so all the contents just poured right out there we go Comes with a warranty card. Not quite sure what that's going to do for me coming from China. But it says right here that uh, the a Gmail email. All right, so we have some instructions. Not like I really need instructions. You know, not reading instructions is a guy thing, and I am a guy, so I'm, I'm just gonna get right into it. Now here are some eraser materials. So that's pretty cool. I'm happy to see that I got erasers. Get me a little brush. Okay, not sure what I'm supposed to do with the brush. And don't tell me to read the instructions because I'm pretty sure it's not in there. And here's the unit. Oh, hoo hoo. Oh, hoo hoo. Battery operated eraser. And it already has another, it has an eraser thing right there. Let's see how snug that puppy is because that's important. Got to have it snug. Feels pretty snug. That's good. All right. Yeah. Well, probably doesn't have any batteries. Let me check. Well, surprise, surprise. No batteries. So let me go put some batteries in this thing and I'll be right back. A few moments later. And with the miracle of video editing, your wait was rather short. So I have batteries right there and yeah that works great hmm there we go it's a touchy little thing Wow, it sounds like it's got some power to that puppy. Now, I'm looking at this eraser tip here, and you can see that it that it wobbles like this. I'm not liking that too much. Let me get that out and see if I can... Yeah, it's got wobble to it. That's not good. I don't want no wobble in my thing. I wonder if it'll take, uh, take my previous one. Wow, there's a lot of wobble there. Ugh. Okay, that's that's not looking too good. The wobble's probably in that little round thing in there. Ah, boy. Well, when you buy cheap, what do you expect? Now what? 
looks like I'm gonna have some contact problems with this thing too. Well, a little better, not much. Okay. Anyway, let's test this thing out. Let's see how it works. So first thing I need is a drawing. Now here's a drawing that I did um, some dark hair for that uh, dark hair video and let's see if I can get some nice lines with this uh, eraser here so I'm not sure. okay here we go I can hold it like this so that feels about right oh come on ah. Well, the lines are pretty thick. So I'm not going to be able to make some thin lines even though I had a sharp edge on this. I'm very disappointed and the reason for that is because it has this terrible wobble to it and uh, well yeah I'd give them an unbiased review all right unbelievable okay so the other thing to try to do is see how it does a point So here I'm going to take a sandpaper and I'm going to I'm going to sand this down to a point. Let's see if I can use it that way. So here we go. Motor feels strong, that's a bonus, or a good thing I should say. When I got it to, okay, now here's something that um, you really need to, to know about. This eraser material is... It's not even sticking in here very well. Okay, it, it's it's fragmenting. You see the, the little white parts right there? It's breaking apart instead of giving me a nice point. It's like the racer material is dry. I'm going to try again. See if we can get a point there. Oh, it's breaking up, it's disintegrating. That's horrible. What in the world? See, I need to get a point like this. Gave me a point. <sighs> okay. I'm not sure if it's the eraser material is just horrid or or if it's the uh okay, that's not going to stick in there. So let me put it back in the original and see if this thing will just work in here. Well, that's just, that was terrible, terrible. All right, here we try this. Look at that. See that point on this eraser material? See that worked out just what real well. Now if I want to come over here and and um, let me zoom in. Now if I want to let's say for example put uh, a highlight in an eyeball. I'm in the light here. Try not to. 
thing is, is it's just, I have way too much wobble on this. Take a look at this. See the, see the wobble at the tip? This is the unit making this wobble. Ah, boy. I really needed a replacement, but this, this is not turning out to be a very good review for these guys. But, I can get some dots going here. Okay, so let me get all this white eraser stuff out of here. That uh, sorry for the bump. I just hit the. Oh boy, that I have never seen anything like that before. That eraser material, that white one, that's junk. Hey, there's something you don't see in a toilet every day. I mean, that this was so dry that it just get this out of here. Throw it away. Okay. Now let me put the, the original thing back in there again. Wow. That was that is that is weird. That is the weirdest thing that I've ever seen. You know, I'm going to turn this around to the other side here. Slide that in. Yeah, that wasn't too impressive. Okay, this it's not very snug. Look at that. It just there's too much play first off unless you you have more material than this, like a brand new one. Let me grab one of these in the package here. Maybe uh Maybe it won't be as dry as that other one. That was that was horrid. Let me just take one out. Fold that up in case these little puppies dry out. Now see if you put this in deep enough into the clip, you'll have a little more stability, but it would be nice. Yeah, see now that's nice and nice and stiff there. But you know, once you start to wear it down, then it doesn't it doesn't seem to be very stiff. Now let's go ahead and see if we can get a a point on this brand new white eraser here and not have it disintegrate again. Big chunk fell off there. What? Why are they making this stuff out of here? This is horrible. This eraser material is breaking off into big chunks. Now I was able to get some kind of a point on here, but it just is breaking up into very large pieces. And I could just see it just just ripping it out for some strange reason this stuff is this material is, is bizarre I'm not very impressed with the eraser material itself I'll see if I can get some dots going here
Okay, and I was able to get get that to work. Ah, oh, boy. Uh, look at that! Look at that! The tip just just broke off, like just like that. Okay. Uh, well, there you go. Um, <laughs> I hate to rag on uh, rag on something uh, when I review them, but I gotta be you know I gotta be honest with my own experience that um, I was very disappointed in the ability of this eraser to um, be true without this this wobble that I ended up now it's not so bad now it has just a little bit but it's not too bad it's minor but it's still you know I had to shake this thing up a, a few times to kind of get it to align up a little better but it does have this wobble like this also uh, wh what I have trouble with is that while it has good grip with with a brand new inserted eraser as you start to get have it be smaller um, it does lose that ability so um, it starts to slide in and out which is not a good thing right now it's snug because I got enough material so uh, once your material starts to get just a little shorter. I mean, that's just still a lot of material left here. Uh, this did not stay gripped in there very well. In trying to use the edge of the eraser rather than putting a point, uh, the lines were a little thick, which is not what I want to see. Now, if I was to just use the eraser itself and, and get down here with, with my hands, I could do very thin lines because uh, there's no none of this wobbling thing going on the other thing that I'm disappointed about is that the uh, eraser material seems to be extremely brittle uh, rather than a, a more moist or, or subtle uh, subtle um, I'm not sure how to say that word but uh, where it just you can make a nice point and, and keep the point just like this particular eraser material which I don't know where I got it I had it in my uh, you know toolbox but uh, I cut off a piece of it and put it on here and it does this really nice point this came this whole thing came off my other which was a core uh battery operated and it it just plain died on me um, I didn't even have it that long so never did a review on that other one but I won't buy another one to review it because it just died on me uh, it's a very substantial uh, battery operated compared to the one I had before even though the shape is very similar uh, this one feels very much more solid um, did have a little trouble with the battery making contact in there as you saw it wouldn't work and then I had to hit it and then it started working that's a little odd uh, don't like to see that. Um, on the positives, again, it's a very solid, feels very, very uh, substantial, and also the motor feels very strong compared to the one I had before from the Cori Nor. Um, and the other thing, too, is it's not really that loud. It just has that motor hum, which is not too chabby. Um, Okay, now it seems that I've gotten it aligned because now it's, it's doing much better with the lines. So you ha may have to play with it when you get it, um, shake it up a little bit. You know, that center thing that holds this in may not seat well. Uh, you'll have to, 
you have to check it and try to see if you can get some of that wobble out and once you get the wobble out like right about there I'm close you can then get some much truer lines yep much better uh, I just don't like the quality of the eraser that was provided um, but you can certainly erase with it if you just want to do wholesale erasing I can tell you this though, it's breaking off big pieces of eraser material. I, oh boy. Anyway, so that's my take on the Ohuhu. Uh, personally, uh, I'm probably going to go get me, find me another one. Uh, not another one, not this brand, but keep hunting for one. Um, maybe I'll break down and, and buy that uh, uh, $30 one. Um, maybe I'll like it better. It seems to be having the highest rating. I forgot what it was called. It starts with an S. It's like Sanuku or some name like that. Uh, anyway, well, there you go. The Ohuhu battery operator eraser. I hope you liked this review. It was as candid as possible. You definitely know what I feel about it. And if you like the review, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done so already. There's a button right there. Leave your comments below and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.